Good day, everyone. My name is Ibrahim Latunde Olokodano, and I'm presenting my paper titled Creek Detect, Exploring Alternative Creaking Methods for Real-Time Seizure Detection from EEG Signals. This is the outline of my talk. What is seizure? For every action that takes place in the body, there is a corresponding trigger by firing neurons in the brain, which control, which send the signals to those parts of the body that needs to be controlled. For example, if you need to move your hands, you premeditate it before that action takes place. As you premeditate it, firing neurons are activated in the brain and they send signals to that part of the body, to the hand, and then the hand moves the way you want it to move. Now, several parts of the brain control different actions in the body. The part of the brain which controls movement, motor actions is the primary motor cortex. The part of the brain which controls visual processing is the occipital region of the brain. Now, these actions I talked about are voluntary actions. They are actions you premeditate. You think about them and then they happen. There are also involuntary actions, actions you do not premeditate, actions you do not know are going to happen. They are also triggered from the brain. But this time around, ab these are abnormal triggers. These are the kinds of actions that result into seizure. Therefore, a seizure is an abnormal activity in the nervous system, which alters the functioning of the brain and causes the victims to lose control and consciousness. You can see uh, the seizure victim here. This is the vision of our research. We envision that an early detection of seizure can save the life of a seizure patient. By collecting the signals from the brain of a seizure patient and processing it in an edge device, an edge device is closer to the patient to reduce latency. There can be an early detection of seizure and then a quick rescue from the brink of death. These are the characteristics of EEG signals. Complexity is high, intensity is low. In the microvolts uh, region, frequency is between the range of 0 0.5 and 30 hertz. These are the research problems in the seizure, seizure detection research community. Automatic seizure detection, seizure detection latency, and the rest of them on the slide. The challenges faced during the course of this research is majorly that of data. Collecting a custom data set is very difficult because of the stringent regulations that are involved in collecting data from animals and human subjects. We therefore have to rely on public data sets that have been previously collected by some other people or hospital. The same applies to testing our models directly on humans or animal subjects. It is difficult to estimate the level of noise in these public data sets since we do not know the condition of the environment in which they are collected. Related research in seizure detection. There are a lot of works that have been done in seizure detection. Some of them use EEG signals uh, together with machine learning methods, while there are others that do not use uh, machine learning methods or even EEG signals. So these are some of the related research that make use of EEG signals combined with machine learning. These are other uh, related research works that do not use EEG signals. Also in the industry, works have been done and are still ongoing to solve the seizure detection problem. This is IBM's implantable seizure detector that makes use of their True North device. That is a neurosynaptic uh, device whose size is like a postage stamp and it is inserted into the brain to detect seizure. This is a real hardware and uh, it is very power efficient. 
There are other consumer electronics devices in the market for seizure detection. Like uh, this is like a wristband that is used to detect seizure. The way it works is that it senses the conductance level of the skin. Usually during seizure, the conductance level of the skin increases. So they set a particular threshold and once the conductance level is above that particular threshold, the seizure is flagged. The drawbacks of existing works includes high seizure detection latency. The models are too complex and unrealistic for real-time deployment in the internet of medical things and then lack of adequate intervention mechanism after detection. Research question and hypothesis. We find that Kriege methods have not been used in the literature for the detection of seizure. And it has also been discovered that the brain is structured like a geographical map. In other words, we can model the brain in a, a similar way as a geographical map. Kriegin is mostly used in geostatistical applications for estimating values at certain locations where values are unknown. And so by modeling the brain as a geographical map, how effective will Kriegin methods perform on a seizure detection problem? given that the brain is structured like a geomap, which Kriegin method is best suited for seizure detection? And is it possible to run a seizure detection algorithm on the edge rather than the cloud to achieve better latency without significant compromise in accuracy? These are the novel contributions of this paper. To the best of our knowledge, this is the first work where multiple Kriegin methods have been used for real-time seizure detection in an edge computing paradigm and we achieved a novel epileptic seizure detection latency of less than one second while maintaining a comparable accuracy with existing models as well as constant time and space complexity uh, for the edge computation. Kriegin. In Kriegin methods, you can estimate the value at an unknown location given some known locations. For example, if you look at this figure, we have three locations where values are known, XA, XB, XC. And then we have this central location with an unknown value. By evaluating the spatial continuity, the relative uh, uh, covariances and autocorrelations between all the points in this region, it is possible to estimate the value at this unknown location. And that process of doing that is what is called Kriegin. Why Kriegin? Why do we think Kriegin will be suitable for seizure detection? This is because the brain can be modeled as a spatial map on which spatial data processing methods can be applied. As a matter of fact, it has been discovered that the hippocampus region of the brain has certain cells which generate maps for recognition and navigation. And this is the way a geographical map, you know, also works. It helps you to recognize places and to navigate <coughs> places. Now, this uh, shows a comparison between the map of a brain and then a geographical map. We can see different locations in both instances, some locations are known and some locations are not known. For the brain, the red dots represent the known location with seizures, signals coming out of them, and then the black are the unknown uh, locations that need to be uh, detected. These are the existing applications of Kriegin, and these are the types of Kriegin you can see that there are many types of Kriegin, but the major types of Kriegin are simple Kriegin, ordinary Kriegin, and universal Kriegin. Every other type of Kriegin takes their basic assumption from these three major types of Kriegin. The Kriegin process involves three important steps. First is the establishment of spatial continuity through the semivariogram, which is a function of the variations in values over distance. Now, after 
establishing spatial continuity and plotting the semi variogram will now fit a model over the semi variogram this is called the semi variogram model and then the final step is the actual estimation through the fitted model this is how the semi variogram is plotted we first uh, obtain a lag vector which is the distance between the unknown point and every other point in you know <clears throat> in the data set and then using this formula we can plot the semi variogram you know for each of the individual points in the data set now after plotting the semi variogram we now want to fit a model over the semi variogram there are several models that can be fitted on the semi variogram but for this paper and because of the kind of data we are using the eeg which has some uh, gaussian characteristics we have decided to use the gaussian semi variogram model so this is how this gaussian semi variogram model looks like and this is the equation for the gaussian uh, semi variogram model Kriegin estimates after getting the semi variogram model plotted then we need to do the actual estimation and uh, for the constraint of time i won't be able to explain all the equations you can get the details from the paper experimental results the data set used for this work is popularly known as the bond data set it was collected from healthy patients and uh, seizure patients in germany in the university of bonn it has a collection of ld signals and seizure signals as well as uh, interictal signals so the data was collected with a <coughs> excuse me with a 128 channel eeg system at a sample rate of 173.61 hertz you can see this is a healthy signal and this is a seizure signal also called ictal signal there are other data sets like the uh mit scout data set collected from the children hospital in boston which we have used in some of our uh, other works this is uh the eeg signal processing and then this talks about the features of eeg signals there are many features that can be collected from eeg signals but for this work, we used three features, which are fractal dimensions, jot parameters, and singular value decomposition. You can see the values as here. For these LD signals, these are the values or for the jot complexity, signal, uh, singular value decomposition entropy, and Petrosian fractal dimensions. You can also see the values for the um, a seizure signal as well feature representation of data set you can see you know these features here plotted in a color map entropy just complexity and fractal dimensions now we can see the plot of the semi variogram here and then this is the semi variogram plus the gaussian semi variogram model in orange line then after that we estimated the actual values of the unknowns and the accuracy, sensitivity, and specificity were obtained at different confidence intervals. So we see that at uh, this confidence interval, simple and ordinary Kriegen maintain the same accuracy and sensitivity. But at this confidence interval, simple Kriegen performed better than ordinary Kriegen by a marginal 2.5%. Uh, and generally, you know, simple Kriegen and ordinary Kriegen were very close in performance, with simple Kriegen eclipsing ordinary Kriegen marginally, but universal Kriegen is far be behind them in performance. And also we see that the detection latency of simple Kriegen is smaller, 0.81 second, followed by ordinary Kriegen with 0.86 second with, uh, you know, universal Kriegen having the least performance of 16.25 seconds. We compared our work with other works in the literature, and we see that our detection latency is much better than what was recorded in the literature 
and we have a comparable accuracy and sensitivity to other works in the literature. Uh, this is the uh, conclusion, you know, that we have a better uh, seizure detection latency with comparable accuracy and sensitivity. Uh, this is the future direction of our work, and uh, these are the references used. Uh, thank you.